Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. Due to YouTube's changing quote-unquote community standards, I created a channel called Grumpy Old Fart over on Rumble, a free speech alternative to YouTube. You can see all of my stuff over there, including my political and social commentary, as well as my current events videos. The links to my YouTube and Rumble channels, as, as well as links to let you order my books, are in the description of this video. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I welcome your comments, even if you disagree with me. Now, on with the video. Hey there, Grumpy Old Fart here. I'm doing a movie review of a really, really great old movie called The Battle of the Bulge. This movie came out in 1965. It is a drama history war movie. The plot is, in the winter of 1944, the Allied armies stood ready to invade Germany itself. They had already taken much of Europe. Uh, and uh, in order to prevent this, Adolf Hitler orders an all-out offensive to retake French territory and to capture the major port city of Antwerp. This is the last gasp of a dying German army, told from the perspective of a German tank commander and an American intelligence officer. And there are some others as well, but those are the two main ones. This is one of those great old movies packed with stars that they can't make today because it shows men being heroes in war in its reality. Some snowflake would watch this and their head would explode. Um, this, today, the closest thing I can think of of, of this kind of a, of a, of a massive uh, motion picture undertaking would be something like the Avengers movies. Where you have all those big name stars and and the big budget and like that this was like that but back in 65 everybody in this was a huge star and everybody loved it everybody loved the, the the actors everybody in this is good the cast you got henry fonda you got robert shaw robert ryan dana andrews ty harden uh pierre angeli george montgomery charles bronson Hans Christian Blech, uh, Werner Peters, James MacArthur, Kelly Savalas, everybody's in this movie. Um, I, I, what I liked about this was it showed the thought process. Many war movies, it's just your uh, their soldiers are in a specific area and they're doing something and, oh no, we have to do this, we have to do that, we have to do this. Well, this one shows the thought process. You get a look into the mind of an intelligence officer. You get a look into the mind of a military commander who's thinking. You 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 see what he's thinking. You hear what he's thinking. You you and they don't you know pause with the bubble with the with the weird voice of how what they're thinking. That's not it. They actually say it out loud. This is why we're doing this. Blah, 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 blah. The the intelligence gathering, the the reasoning that you know behind their motivations. It's 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 brilliant. You don't have writing like this anymore. It's absolutely wonderful. The three people that I chose as standouts for this, because I always try to do standouts. The first one is Telly Savalas. He plays uh, Sergeant Guffey. He's a, a tank sergeant. He plays a black marketeer, and his partner, a French woman who loved him, he didn't realize how she felt until right when he, when he was leaving. She was killed, and now he he goes a little nuts. Telly Savalas plays nuts well. This is one of his deeper roles because there's a. For example, he was in the Dirty Dozen, the original Dirty Dozen movie, and he played a, a racist and all that. And I hate to say it, but it's easy for people to play racist because they're so well documented. This is a much deeper role for him because he's a normal guy who was caught flat-footed by how his partner felt about him and then he realized suddenly she's gone that will mess with your mind that will mess with your mind and in this he's brilliant he is absolutely brilliant you got you got to watch it you got to watch the show the second one Hans Christian Blech he plays Conrad this is guy he, he's the assistant to the German tank commander now, this guy, he, Conrad, he just wants to be a good soldier. But over time, he thinks he's, he's fighting for Germany. 
what he's then he finds out later on that's not quite it he's he, he becomes disillusioned over his boss's ultimate goal this guy he's when when people say that not all nazis were bad this guy wasn't a nazi per se he wore a nazi uniform but he wasn't a nazi per se he was a soldier he was doing what his government told him he just wanted to go home to his sons his family and his sons you know and he found out that the ultimate goal that his boss had wasn't the same goal he had you know the whole point of a soldier if you're going to war as a soldier your 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 goal is to win the war period that's it there's there's no other goal at least there shouldn't be but this this tank commander that he was that he was under uh, yeah it, it was a different goal so yeah check him out uh, the third one, I, I got to go with this. Robert Shaw, he has a bad reputation in Hollywood. And I don't know how justified that is. I don't really give a crap. Robert Shaw is one of the best actors ever. Uh, he plays Colonel Hessler in this. He was in Jaws. He played Quint, the, the shark hunter. Quint out of Jaws, the original Jaws movie. I did a paper on him. A psychology paper in college and he it's like Captain Ahab kind of thing this guy didn't just hunt sharks he hated them in this he's just as obsessed but with something else he plays in this he plays Colonel Hessler the the egocentric megalomaniac who's put in command of the armored spearhead he doesn't care how many of his men die he just wants to win now here's the thing that's what you think at first you find out later that his goals aren't the same as a normal soldier okay winning is one of the steps to his goal you think his goal is to win but it's not um in this role robert shaw was brilliant he takes a role and he makes it good no matter what it is he plays evil as well as he plays good you man you you cannot you cannot replace, you cannot substitute the look in somebody's eye when they know they're right. Robert Shaw had that look in this. I mean, you gotta, you got to look the character in the eye. That's all, that's all I'm saying. If you get a chance to watch this movie, the, the movie is The Battle of the Bulge from 1965. Henry Fonda's in it. Charles Bronson's in it. Robert Shaw. Robert Ryan. Uh... Hell, everybody's in this. James MacArthur, he was from uh, Hawaii Five-0. Book him, Dano. Murder one, that guy. Dano, he's in this, and he, and he plays a great role. You got, you got to see it. You really have to see it. It's really, really good. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Y'all have a good day now. God bless one and all. Clarissa Lowe, a historian from the future. Delmore Kane, a Civil War veteran turned outlaw. This oddball pairing faces a conspiracy of epic proportions spanning the centuries. If you like action and adventure westerns with a splash of science fiction and fantasy, check out my book series Drifters and their ongoing adventures.